IR, or infrared spectroscopy, is a common method used by organic chemists to identify the various functional groups in a single chemical compound. Using IR is beneficial in conjunction with other methods of spectroscopic identification, rather than solely relying on IR for structural determination. Upon inspection, it is important to note that an IR spectrum is a graph of percent transmittance versus wavelength. In this respect, the y-axis ranges from 0 to 100 percent, and the x-axis ranges from 4,000 to 400 centimeters to the minus 1. Note that the x-axis decreases from left to right. Aside from the axes, an IR spectrum will exhibit a baseline with peaks of various widths and strengths. The strength of a given peak refers to the transmittance, or y-axis, and is typically classified as strong, moderate, and weak. Strong peaks are observed with low transmittance, while weak peaks are observed with high transmittance. In order to interpret IR spectra, it is helpful to split up the x-axis into several regions that are characteristic of common organic functional groups. Organic chemists generally refer to the shorter wavelengths, ranging from approximately 1,000 to 400 centimeters to the minus one as the fingerprint region. Due to the numerous amount and overlap of peaks within this region, it is typically not used to identify functional groups. However, peaks outside of this region can be diagnostic and easier to interpret. For instance, alcohols can be quickly revealed by their OH stretch that appears between 3,600 and 3,200 centimeters to the negative one. These peaks are highly characteristic because they are generally broad and strong, like the OH stretch, in one hexanol at 3,324 centimeters to the negative one. Another common organic functional group that is diagnostic with IR spectroscopy is the carbonyl group. In general, carbonyl-containing compounds, like ketones, exhibit a strong carbon double bond oxygen stretch between 1725 and 1705 centimeters to the minus one. This can be shown in the spectrum of 3-pentanone at 1716 centimeters to the minus one. The interpretation of C double bond O stretching is also beneficial for the identification of esters, as well as aldehydes, amides, and carboxylic acids. Esters can be distinguished from a ketone because they have an additional strong CO stretching frequency that appears between 1300 and 1000 centimeters to the negative one. For example, the IR spectrum of an ester, such as isopentyl acetate, can be interpreted by identifying its carbonyl C double bond O stretch at 1744 centimeters to the negative one and the CO stretch at 1389 centimeters to the negative one. Interpreting CH stretching can also be important to distinguish between alkenes, aromatics, and alkanes. In fact, sp2 CH bond stretches that are characteristic of aromatic compounds appear between 3100 and 3000 centimeters to the minus one. As an example, the sp2 hybridized CH bonds of benzene appear at 3091, 3072, and 3036 centimeters to the minus one in its IR spectrum. On the other hand, alkanes can be identified by their sp3 hybridized CH stretching, which appears between 2960 and 2850 centimeters to the negative one. This can be seen in the IR spectrum of decane with CH stretches at 2959, 2925, 2874, and 2855 centimeters to the negative one. In summary, the interpretation of IR spectra can help determine functional groups within organic compounds. This can be accomplished simply by examining each spectrum for common IR stretches that are characteristic of organic functional groups. Also remember that although any given spectrum may contain a large number of peaks, it isn't necessary to interpret each one. Be on the lookout for IR stretches that are strong and broad, looking for key peaks that are unique to various organic functional groups. While it may be helpful to use the fingerprint region, try not to use this as your only source for identifiable peaks as it can be very cluttered.